Are you struggling on how to create your cover letter, CV, or resume for your cabin crew application? Let alone understand what they are and how they are different and why you need to create them for your interview. And most importantly, how do you even stand out in the thousands and sea and oceans of resumes and CVs during the day of the application? In this episode, we will discuss what are these and how you can use them to your advantage together with the five standout tips that I'm going to give you by the end of the video. Hello and welcome to the Fly Podcast. I'm Ruth and I help aspirants to simplify the complicated cabin crew interviews. Before we start, I want to give a shout out to the first class members. Who are the first class members? They are their members on the YouTube channel and they get a live access or live video stream every Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Philippine time where every student or every member will get a live access to me where I answer the members' questions live, give lessons such as how do recruiters judge you on the interview day and so much more. If you want to be a member, go ahead and click the join button next to the subscribe button on this channel and I will see you next Wednesday. Every airline company may ask for three types of documents. And these three types of documents are a cover letter, CV or curriculum vitae, or a resume. First of all, let's talk about the basics. We're going to discuss what they are and what are the differences between cover letter, CVs, and resume. So let's go ahead. A cover letter is like an FB ad, Facebook advertisement, designed for you to click on it. What it does is it highlights where you found the hiring event, why you are the perfect candidate for the position, and give it some enough information, some kind of a teaser, so that they would try and see your resume CV and invite you for an interview. So that's the purpose of a cover letter. For the cover letter, it's important to don't make it into a novel because if they wanted to read the novel, probably they would just have read Harry Potter or something <laughs> like that. But just make sure that you get them curious enough to ask you for a CV or to invite you on an interview. And the CV, the curriculum vitae, that's where the action is at. A curriculum vitae is where you get into the nitty gritty details about you, your experience, your educations, your qualifications, your awards, your hobbies, your interests, everything that is relevant to the position that you are applying for. Keyword relevant, relevant details, because if it has nothing to do with the cabin crew position, Leave it out of the curriculum vitae because even the hobbies and interests that you may list down on your CV, it should still be somehow is connected to the cabin crew position. And somehow you could still like know it's relevant because like for example, you like swimming. Swimming is part of the cabin crew training. So it has to be something that has to do with what you are applying for. Because if it's not, and if it's something that is like so over the top, you know, so over the moon, it would look like fluff or it would look like it is boring and irrelevant. It's hard to read it because you would think if you are the one reading it, it's like, okay, this is not related, this is not related, then you will become bored. So that's how it becomes boring. But if every single thing that you put in your CV, okay, you're connected to the cabin crew, okay, we're looking for that, okay, that's interesting, okay, that's perfect for the job, that is what makes a document stand out and that is what makes you look good on paper so the next thing is about curriculum vitae you have to write in as well your job descriptions not just the job your job descriptions the roles that's included in the job description and the duties that you do 
for the job that you are doing, the related job experience that you have done before. Because this way, when you put in the roles and the duties, even if it's not a cabin crew position that you have previously held, but it's the same roles and the same duties that can be applicable for the cabin crew position, then they would say, oh, this is a potential candidate. So you must put all the details there. So even if your experience before is not related at all at being a flight attendant, go ahead and make it look nice by putting the roles, the duties that is transferable to the cabin crew position. Put it all there. Okay, so there you go. That is curriculum vitae and what must be in it and what is the pages. You could have about two to three pages long. That is a standard for a CV. Don't make it into a 10 pages. Please, please. 10 pages, 5 pages. That's too long. Just make sure that it is a mini novel. Mini novel. Not a true novel. All right. So what is a resume? A resume is actually a French word for summary. So that means if you could just put everything that the recruiter needs to know in one page document. It's a bulleted form of document wherein everything that we need to reference to uh, during the face-to-face -face interview is there. That means everything that you put in your resume you're ready to talk about in a face-to-face -face interview. Okay, so that's what you should keep in mind when you are creating your resume. So in summary, if the cover letter is food, it will be the appetizer. What it does is you help your recruiters salivate a little bit, get them ready for the real deal for the main course, and that will be the CV. CV will be the main course or the meat, and it has all the details of your experience, education, contact details, personal details, hobbies and interests, your favorite life quote, and things like that. And the resume then will be the menu card where everything that you can find in the restaurant will be there. So it's up for the person to which part of the menu card they want to talk about during the interview. So just put it all there in one page document, highlighting the summary of your skills and experiences. Now, before we get into how to make your document stand out among the thousands of other applicants, if you are loving this content so far, please make sure that you give this video a like or leave a podcast review if you are listening over our podcast. That really helps me out a lot and you have no idea how I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So thank you for taking the time and now we go ahead and continue with the content. Now that we know the basic about these three documents their differences now how do we stand out among the literal thousands of applicants applying with you during the day of the interview i have a few ideas number one if you are going to use a colored type of resume use the airline's colors for the highlights or for the accent colors of your resume if you are using colored version that is the way to do it because this is not just a good look but it also shows a lot of thoughtfulness and research on your part this makes your document literally stand out among the sea of black and gray and white resumes. Just make sure that the design is still professional and it has a formal feel to it. Don't make it into a rainbow <laughs> or something like that. And the next tip is I would use a Canva template. Make sure that during our day, it was so hard to create a document or a resume. If you want to make it artistic or a little bit, put a lot of uh, shapes on it. It's so hard using Word document processor. But nowadays, they have upgraded it, thank God. And also, we have Canva. If you don't know Canva, it is a haven for graphics and designers. And they also have resumes there templates there i'm gonna use a canva template to design my resume instead of a word document application because i just want to have the best that is available in this day and age when it comes to technological advancements and i just want to take advantage of whatever is available for me and by the way this is free so make sure you take advantage of it too you don't have to pay to get a canva account by the way over at my latest course at hashtag faa toolbox i have canva design templates 
sheets for resumes and cover letters and CVs, curriculum vitae, for your cabin crew application in two versions. The first version is for fresh graduates and the second version is for experienced applicants. These are done for you, editable templates, customizable for you in Canva design or even in the .docx document if you prefer creating your documents in a Microsoft Word document. You may want to check out my latest offer at Miss K. Chris over at Courses. It's available at misskchris.com and just click on the courses and you will see it there. All you have to do is once you have the editable cabin crew resume templates, all you have to do is personalize it to help your flight attendant application look polished, easy to understand for the recruiter and professional. You can even change up the color designs to the airline's color that you are applying for if you want to apply my tip number one for this stage. Third tip for resumes and CVs is make sure that you align your text. I know it is so basic and a lot of people may say, oh my God, that is so obvious. But still, a lot of applicants get this wrong because you know what? We are applicants. We are so nervous and we are so into other details like what am I going to do here that we tend to forget about alignment and making sure it's neat. You know, we are so worried about grammar. We're so worried about what do I put in here? What do I even put in here? That is normal. So my tip for you is is make sure you don't forget to align your text make sure it's clean and neat and this can be done through a ruler in a microsoft word document or in an app in canva account they do this automatically whenever you put the text it's like automatically giving you like this line <laughs> that's what i love about using canva when creating my documents as well and it's an automatic feature for alignment for the text and it's like mm, so good <laughs> i just love it some people people's pet peeves are when they look at a document and it's not aligned it gives this unprofessional look to it it just makes it look like you created your resume in haste you are hurrying you are not really concentrating on the details you don't have attention to details which is something that they look for in an applicant so they get turned off right away they won't even read your document just because you didn't align it right away this is so so basic like i said but still so many people get this wrong so yeah that's my tip number three i want to know on the comments down below if you prefer Fair to make your resumes using a Word document or your free Canva account? Comment it down below and let's talk there. All right, number four, keep your document clean and crisp when you are going to a recruitment event especially or an open day or an interview day it may involve hours and hours of waiting <laughs> i'm talking about two to five hours of standing in line sitting in line standing in line again sitting in line again moving to the another room just to sit on another line you know that is how it goes it's normal sometimes it takes the whole day so take steps in keeping your resume crisp and fresh and clean by putting it in a folder or making sure it's not gonna get crumpled in some way while you are waiting for your turn i know another basic tip but it is a world of difference guys and it always happens so i would use some of those plastic envelopes from national bookstores uh, or any bookstores available in your area and whatever country you are watching from make sure that you use something sturdy because the cardboard one they easily you know crumple and <laughs> sit on it sometimes then it's like uh, it's not fresh anymore <laughs> My fifth tip is to use keywords on your resume to instantly have that connection between the cabin crew role and you. If you have words like team player, assertive, led, exceeded expectations, enthusiastic, improved, excellent service, awarded, flexible, cultured, your resume will light up like a Christmas tree on Christmas time for the recruiter's eyes. Because on their end, what they will see is an applicant who really gets what is required of the job and gets what they are looking for. So believe me, when you do this for your resume, you use keywords, this will literally make your resume stand out among the thousands of other resumes they're looking for. So if you light up their brain with these keywords, then they would remember you. Alright? 
So on our next video, I would deep dive more about keywords that we can use on a resume for your cabin crew application. And make sure you tune in for that on the next episode. Subscribe to the podcast or subscribe to the channel if you are watching over at YouTube. Catch it when it's live on Monday, 9 a.m. If you are looking for tips and ideas on how to pass the cabin crew interviews, I would recommend for you to listen to the 10 things I would do differently if I were applying for the cabin crew position today. If you want to have a bigger picture on how the recruitment have changed through time and what is my strategy to the current times that we are in, go ahead and click on that episode on your screen right now. And thank you so much for watching. I will fly with you soon. Bye!